Hello everyone, my name is Luke and I am the business development manager here at Expandit. And so right now I'm going to walk you through our mobile our mobile field service solution. And right now what you can see on the screen is our planning and dispatch board. So this is for the planners, dispatchers that sit in the office, have an overview, complete overview of all the you know, service technicians out in the field and all the jobs and service orders. Uh, that have been scheduled or need to be scheduled. Um, so let's start off uh, on the left hand side. What you see are a list of departments and resources coming from the ERP. So I have my department here, for example, Canon USA, and then I have my resources listed. So what can a resource be? A resource can be a service technician. It can be a specific tool that might be required in the field. And also the last thing, uh, a resource could also be a vehicle or truck. So every planner or dispatcher can create their own view. So if you have multiple locations and multiple planners, each planner can create their own view to view the resources that they're in charge of or the area uh, that they're in charge of. Uh, towards the center, um, you see a calendar and then you see some colorful boxes. So these boxes represent the scheduled service orders or jobs. So we can see that some work has been assigned to some of the technicians um, and you can see the status of them. And at the top, there's a status legend. So the planner can see what is the status of this job or service order. Um, is the technician, did they accept the work? Are they traveling? Have they begun work? Are they on break? Is it completed, etc.? So these statuses are updated live if the mobile tech uh, is connected to the internet. Um, these statuses will be updated uh, within seconds. The light blue lines you see sticking out, these indicate travel time. So how long is it gonna take for that technician to get from point A to point B? And there's multiple ways where we can get this information. One being from the mobile device itself. If the location is on, we can determine the location of that field service technician. Another way is that um, to get that data from a telematics or GPS device that's already in the truck. So we use APIs to pull that data and, and have a location on those technicians. So we can see some work has been scheduled. This is one view. Uh, this is our the Gantt chart view. We also have a graphical map view as well. So I'm going to click my map here. And typically, um, a lot of customers will have the planning board on one screen and the, this map view on another screen because they interact with each other. And I'll show you that in a second, but let me make this full screen here. So here I can see where my resources are, um, what they're doing, what is the status of them. So if I click on this person, for example, here, it's Lawrence. Uh, I can see his status. What is he doing? I can see other jobs nearby and other technicians nearby. And similar, if I click on the flags, these represent the service orders or jobs. And so I can see who's assigned to this job or service order, uh, what is the status of it, the address. Um, and I can see other technicians nearby and I can actually route them from the map itself. So it's great, it's a great feature if I click on, um, technician here you can see that they're highlighted on the planning board and vice versa so it's a great tool that they interact with each other so there's multiple ways of scheduling a service order uh, or job um, we can create the job or service order inside of the ERP nav is central uh, FNO AX uh, and then use the planning board just to schedule okay so if I were going to do that I can just go to schedule here and I can look up some jobs, projects, service orders, see some information about it, and then drag and drop and assign it to a technician. So that is one way of scheduling. But let's say we wanted to actually schedule from the planning board. We didn't want to create the service order um, inside of the ERP. We just want to create it from the planning board itself. Um, all I can simply do is right click on myself here, have some availability. I'll get a pop-up window to create a new job. So I can go ahead, type in the customer information. For example, it's the Canon Group. Uh, I can search for a job that's uh, related to the Canon Group or a specific service item. So again, all this data is coming from the ERP. For example, let's click this one here. Let's write a simple work description. See with selected. So 
from here, this is where I can add any additional information as a planner dispatcher. So any additional details, you know, PO numbers, mark this as urgent, et cetera. I can go ahead and do that. Here's my customer information. So here's the, you know, the customer address, the work address, invoice address. Of course, if I need to modify this work address because it's a one-time location, I can go ahead and do that. Here are a list of my task lines. So if you remember, I selected one service item to work on, but if I need to add multiple tasks, I can go ahead and do that from here as well. So comments as well. So if I, as a planner or dispatcher, need to uh, write a comment that's related to the service order or job, um, this data will show up, or this comment will show up uh, on the mobile de device for the technician. Attachments as well, if we need to attach pictures or if we need to attach um, you know, documents, blueprints, any sort of document, we can go ahead, drag and drop uh, or attach it from here. So let's go ahead, save and close. And you'll see this job populate on the planning board right here. So I've assigned the work to myself. I can go ahead, uh, once I open up the mobile device, and uh, will start working on that uh, work. Um, a few other things, if we need to link multiple resources to a job, let's say we need multiple technicians or we need a truck and a technician to go out to a site together, we can handle that. For example, if I wanted to link Chris, Michael, and a Chevrolet Silverado, I can go ahead and update that and you can see that all three resources are now linked to this job and they have to go and work on that together. Uh, another neat feature, cool feature that we have is messaging. So we can send messages to our resources out in the field, uh, send them an S SMS message or an email right from the planning board. I can send it to an entire department. Um, we can also generate automated messages that can be sent out to the end customer, such as, you know, we have scheduled a visit on this date and time where your technician, Chris, will arrive at your location. And we can send this to the end customer via SMS and email, as I said. So that's sort of a high level from the planning board. What I plan on showing you now is the mobile uh, client. So we're going to pretend like we're a service technician that's going to go out into the field and do an install or service. So let's jump to that. So I'm going to be showing it on an iPad, but um, you can use it on any device and it works offline on a Samsung tablet, whether it's Windows, Android, iOS, uh, phone, tablet, laptop, uh, it doesn't matter. It's built in response to design. So it's, it's just gonna fit the device uh, that you're using. So today I am using a, uh, an iPad uh, as a, a simulator here. So let's update, um, if I forward to the correct date, I can see my calendar for the week. So here's my calendar for the week, and here is that job that I have assigned, has, that has been assigned to me. So we have different views. We have a monthly view, weekly view, daily view. And so I can go ahead, click on the work that I need to complete. So this is the, the work that I need to work on. So I can see the status of it, um, where I'm supposed to go, uh, the Canon group, this address. If I click this little car icon, it's gonna open up my maps and tell me how to get there. So I can see the contact information, Mr. Andy Teal, and some important details that would have been attached by the planner. So I can see the work description and I can see the messages that have been sent to me uh, at, by the planner. So we can go ahead, if I hit start travel, it's gonna log my travel time. Um, and if I need to record my time against the service or job, I can go ahead and hit start time and it's going to log my time uh, against this service order. So the clock is ticking now. Um, the next thing we can do is look at the tasks that have been assigned um, to this job or service order. So here's a list of them. I can indicate that I'm working on a specific task and I can see history on specific service items. So I can see who was here last, what did the, the previous technician do, uh, what tasks did they work on, did they leave any comments, did they complete any reports, you know, did they use any specific materials 
uh, and consumables here. So I can see all that information. Again, this data, this historical information would be coming from the ERP and available on the mobile device. I can also indicate the status as well of this task. So I can say I can mark it as finished or I can say I'm working on it, et cetera. So we have multiple statuses available. Now, if you recall, uh, when I hit start time and start travel, I was logging my traveling time. Um, I can, of course, do that manually afterwards. Uh, we just have those buttons just for ease of use. So I can indicate you know, that I worked a full day. Uh, we have you know, multiple work types uh, that are coming from the ERP. So I can indicate how many kilometers I drove or how many miles uh, I need to register and have it listed here. I can also register time for a another resource. So if I'm a crew leader and I'm in charge of a crew of let's say four or five people and I'm the only one with a mobile device, I can go ahead and register the time um, for those re uh, resources that I'm in charge of. The next thing we have are our materials, our consumables that we have uh, out in the field. So I can go ahead, here's a long list that we have coming from the ERP. Of course, if I need the product number, product name, um, I can go ahead and type that in and view all the available products that I have available. So I can go ahead and I'm gonna register a couple of screws that I used here as materials used. And I can also indicate inventory location. So where did these materials that I've used come from? So I can determine, yes, they came from my truck or they came from a, one of our warehouses or they came from another resources truck. So I can go ahead and register these materials. I'll determine uh, what location I pulled those materials from. What we can also handle are reports. So reports could be any sort of paper documents, you know, safety reports, inspection reports, uh, checklists, uh, if we need to get an approval signature from an end customer, things like that. Anything that, that you do on paper today, we can convert them and make them digital. So for example, we have a North American test report and here are some sample questions, um, some yes or no questions, you know, a drop down list here. Um, I can attach images or files to this specific report. I can add test, uh, text, sorry. I can capture signatures from whether it's the end customer or myself. Um, I can go ahead and save that. Uh, what, what's really neat is that we can make certain fields or certain mandatory. So that way the technician can't forget to capture a signature or they can't forget to complete a safety or inspection report, for example. So I can go ahead and save that. And if I'd like, I can email it to, um, whoever requires this document, whether it's end customer or someone else, I can pop in their email, shoot them a PDF. Of course, we can, uh, if, uh, if you have a printing device in the truck, we can also go ahead and print that. So I can go ahead, save this report, and you can see it as completed. Uh, the last thing we have here are attachments. So here's an image that was attached as a planner. Um, I would view all these documents that ha that were, or if they were attached um, from here, uploaded by the office. But let's say I want to attach images or documents of my own to the service order or job. I can go ahead and it will open up my fi file browser. Uh, but if I was using uh, an actual iPad, it would ask me, Do, would, would you like to open up your gallery or would you prefer to open up your camera and take a live photo? So I can leave a comment on the attachment and you can see the image has been added. So if we go to the front now, um, I can close out the job as completed. So I can go ahead and hit finish and it's gonna give me a summary. So here's everything that I've completed, uh, all the tasks, the time that I registered, the materials that I consume, uh, any reports that I completed. Now, if I, didn't uh, complete a report that was mandatory, it would notify me and I wouldn't be able to close out this job. And the attachments as well. So here are the, all the attachments that came from the planner uh, as well as myself, uh, the mobile technician. So I can say, close it out, you know, I'm done for today. Or I can say, hey, I'm gonna come back later. I did not complete my work. So I'm gonna come back at a specific date and time 
and I'm going to assign either myself or another resource, or I'll throw this back to the planner and they can determine who's going to come out and complete this work. But if we hit finalize, I want to say, yep, I want to finish the work today. I completed the, the job successfully. I'm going to hit finalize. And now the status of this job has been changed to completed. Um, so what's going to happen now is the data will then get pushed back into the ERP and the ERP is going to handle the invoicing from there. Um, so that is sort of a high level overview of uh, our mobile field service solution. Um, if you guys had any other questions or if you would prefer to see something more in depth uh, or speak to me and I can help you consult, uh, learn about your business and determine if this is right for, for you. So. Um, We'll provide our emails and, and contact information uh, for you guys.